Hello there, Namaste, Jin Dobre. Today we are starting our University of Science and Technology in Bratislava campus tour at this place. This is the Planicky tram stop. It is renamed. It's got name badal diya gaya hai. Ab ise Planicky Polytechnica Bratislavska bolte. Polytechnica stands for University of Science and Technology. So let's go straight. That building right there used to be Credit Suisse. Now it's uh, UBS since they bought it. Anyway, uh, this green location um, and this street, when we walk straight towards it, we are in the campus of Politechnika Rostovska. Now the interesting thing is, well, yes, you see this deformed building. This is one of the interesting things because out here, the university ka campus hota hai. ऐसा नहीं है कि वो एक बड़ा सा सर्कल है और उस सर्कल के अंदर सिर्फ और सिर्फ यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी है देखिए मेरे इस साइड में कितना लाइक like, डिफॉर्म्ड सा व्यू है और वहीं पे मेरे पीछे कितना सुंदर सा पार्क है और इफ आई मूव अ लिटिल बिट मोर वो डिफॉर्म्ड एरिया खत्म हो जाता है एंड दिस ब्यूटीफुल बिल्डिंग इज देयर एज वेल तो द पॉइंट इज दैट इन यूरोप यहां पे पोलैंड में जो कैंपस होते हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि वो एक सर्कल के अंदर है दे आर बेसिकली स्प्रेड आउट अक्रॉस द सिटी द सेम गोज फॉर द कैंपस ऑफ पोलिटेक्निक और एंड राइट नाउ एम हेरिंग टूवर्ड्स इट ये जो आप देख रहे हैं मेरे आसपास, थोड़ी ग्राफिटी बनी हुई है थोड़ी सुंदर बिल्डिंग थी तो दीज आर ऑल रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग्स देखिए रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग में जाने के लिए हाँ सॉरी देखिए ये वाला जो रोड है ये पोलिटेक्निक और का है डोंट वरी जो एक्चुअल कैंपस है ये देखिए नया कैंपस है पोलिटेक्निक और उसका का सिजिल भी है यहाँ पर लिखा है नोवे मैकेनिक ने यानी कि नया मैकेनिकल वार्ड या फिर लेट्स से फैकल्टी तो दैट्स द फर्स्ट प्लेस वी आर हेडिंग टू द फैकल्टी ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक्स मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग तो जैसा कि मैं कह रहा था नाउ बिहाइंड मी इज दिस नाइक्स अमेजिंग पार्क and then this beautiful looking glass building you can see the transition from there wahan par deformed buildings and cheap buildings now there is a glass building to ye jo building hai ye hai b4 faculty of mechanical engineering faculty of mechatronics so yeah let's go there First person point of view. I'm going to the also with the mechanics. Oh, this is really beautiful. Um, but this building also has uh, chemicals, as far as I could understand. I think this passageway looks pretty decent. So, just got it. Let me see if there's interesting. Right. So this is the main campus along the river of Poltechnica. They have highlighted the buildings which belong to them. Uh, so far. We have been to this B4 in the center, and I was just in B1. I heard from the students that there is less interesting things there, so I'm gonna keep exploring. <laughs> this is in case somebody doesn't believe that uh, Polytechnica is a hundred years old university. Look at this beautiful statues, just uh, I guess holding on to the gate. Uh, this one is A3, 
uh, VJO's department of chemicals, let's say. Again, I love the architecture of these old buildings. Uh, these steps take you to that big door. And right next to the big door, you have got two people with, uh, well, one of them with a flame, I believe, and the other one who is uh, thinking. Uh, they have signs which read Latin. And then on top, we have got uh, some human being as well. <laughs> Again, I really love the architecture of this area. Uh, Wrocław in general is a very pretty city. outside how like retro this building looks uh, the elevator here is uh, entirely different story let me just uh, tell you like it's one of the best looking ones I've seen like at an old building at least <laughs> Who's easily impressed? Uh, I am just on the stairs right now, uh, and there's this cute little door in the middle of the stairs. I don't even know where it leads us, it's just there. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, building C1 information and telecommunication, electronics, photons, uh, microsystems. It's really interesting that everywhere I look, each building has a different architecture, style, just fascinating. Oh, what's going on there? Oh my god, this is so cute. I'll check if it works. I think it does. I think I can write code here. Alright, so in case anyone was wondering uh, what these places are so during winters you can come here with your jackets and you can give those jackets here So that you don't take your wet snowy jackets into the classrooms Alright, so that's the library. Um, unfortunately, in order to enter, you need to be a student of the university. So, I'm gonna let you explore that yourself. Because one of the two things is happening either they are packing up or they are setting up for the place looks like there was or there is going to be some sort of a conference um, it's highly unlikely that I would come back here so I can just show you like sometimes there are open days at the university especially towards the end of the semester where companies come and talk about their projects 
Um, so yeah, like this is what it looks like if that happens. Uh, I mean, you know, the preparation looks like what it looks like right now. Also, I'm in the building C13. Outside, oh yeah, there is a gate. So we could actually just walk outside. So once we do get outside, there is, uh, well, the sun, uh, which is burning brighter than a thousand suns altogether. Anyway, on the other side of these buildings, there is the river and across the river there is the admissions office we're gonna go there um, we're gonna take the polinka but right now you know it's 1330 I don't know if you can see and polinka is closed right now so it's closed every day between 1330 till 14 which is half past one till two for maintenance or breaks or lunch whatever so yeah unfortunately or fortunately I get to explore one more slightly older buildings so let's let's head on there that's the back of c13 behind me i was going to the other side of the river but then i noticed this uh flanks of the university so i'm sure there's something interesting happening out there plus i've never been plus i hope there are windows so through those windows we will be able to see uh the river odra so let's uh let's see what's going on Okay. Yes, there is the polling cuff, of course. A good advertisements for it. Right, so I was hoping to see like a window or something through which you can see Odra and that would have been like a beautiful, amazing view. Even right now it is. There's C13 behind me and there's a boat going there behind me as well. <laughs> So yeah, like uh, I really like this about this particular campus. So let's say that you're a student, you have just finished a class, which was quite, uh, well, difficult. You would like to relax or enjoy. So you can come out here. Uh, excuse me, are you my sunglasses? You can just come out here and enjoy on this deck. Uh, right now you see that nobody is enjoying because it's just that sunny but there is a volleyball pitch uh, quite close to us so let's check that out as I was saying on the other side of the river there is the admissions office we will shortly go there this is the same building I was in this is the rector's room I think parties and graduation things happen here although I'm not sure about that this is a great place just to chill or relax however right now I believe it's too hot this is a professor an old one over there you've got people enjoying the ship I believe there is even a race going on oh well ah oh, it's the inspector I see maybe some important this is uh, just a makeshift beach over there we've got the beach bar but this is not the place I wanted to take you to. I want to... Aha! Uh -huh. Well, this is the place I wanted to take you to. This is the volleyball pitch. Um, unfortunately, no one is volleyballing right now. Uh, well, it's okay. Uh, anyway, if you look up there, that's the line of Polinka. This is uh, right now not going because there's still 10 minutes to go. I want to share an interesting fact about me. Um, when I was young and naive, I was very adventurous. Uh, I remember that in the winters, this place, it completely freezes over. Well, not completely, but at least two inch. So me and a equally adventurous friend of mine, we decided to walk. And I think we walked uh, halfway onto the river. So this is not something that I recommend uh, and yet it's uh, you know it tells you a bit more about my younger days <laughs> right next to the river also there is this beach bar which is called the Forma Puena this is a place that I highly recommend I always enjoy coming here with a group with a big company it's extremely chill as you can see there's a lot of oak trees out here so they provide a lot of shade um, and this place is again open in the summers because who in their right mind will come here during the winters um, and I'm sorry that you have to bear with me a bit um, I'm just waiting for Polinka 
because uh, that is the last part I want to record in this particular campus tour. I know it could have been a bit long, but well, Polinka is the only place. Yeah, like this is extremely popular. This is even a tourist attraction because, you know, like usually you have this place in the mountains. Out here, there is no need for this. And also, if you take a bus or a car, then in order to get over or across the river, it's a very long road. So, Oltechnika Rosovska installed this uh, cable car, which is referred to as Polinka. And uh, yeah, like, it is nowhere else in the city. This is the only place, and that's why uh, it is touristic. So, okay, right now it's uh, 51. I still have nine more minutes to go. I'll just rest, guys. goes another entrance I will take the route back as well because uh, I only came to this side of the river uh, to show you the admissions office let's hope that it is open and also let's hope that when I go back I'm alone but yeah we can't only hope for so many things right right so I believe this video is becoming a bit long but well this is the place where you will be coming for the first time let me head in there. We've got uh, Rostov University of Science and Technology. We've even got the little man out here, one of Rostov's dwarfs. Oh, and unfortunate, unfortunate business, I believe. Ah, I thought it was closed for a second, the bit, but it is not. Oh, and there's an air conditioner here. I might as well stay here for the rest of my time. It's like 31 degrees. International office is here. Yeah. Level 1 international relations. Check that out as well. Rocks off to the eyes of multicultural students. There's a photography, it looks like. These are pictures taken by international students. Oh, Junaid Balboa. Oh, sounds like the guy from Rocky. Uh, he took this picture of Halastolesha. Very good. Someone from Indonesia as well, in Rinnick. Nice pictures. And then you've got some other pictures as well. This looks like a part of me. <laughs> right, Ahmed from Turkey. Right, right, right. Nice building. I think it's a place for the international office. Here you've got some more pictures. I believe they might be the same. Here you've got uh, uh, a picture opportunity. Nice. 